Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. Just uh, looking at Thursday's price action on the S&P. Uh, Thursday was July 18th and uh, that's the chart we have here today. So if we were to be looking at the tick SPX and the custom RSI for today, and uh, if we step uh, right after the markets uh, open, you can see that the markets, uh, the SPX tried to, the ES rather, which would be the same as SPX, uh, it's trying to make a move higher. However, you can see that the ticks are not responding. They're, they're mostly negative to at best flat and they don't react at all. So this gives us a clear early warning that the S&P is not going to go up because the ticks are not responding positively to this price action. So this is a divergence here. And even though you see custom RSI, remember custom RSI is not the primary trigger. The primary trigger is always the SPX ticks. And so that is not responding. And in fact, what happens is as it starts coming down, now you can see some persistent activity here. Custom RSI goes into, into the bearish mode and this is where you would take the trade. So, you know, somewhere here at the 2984 level and then the, the, the custom RSI starts changing uh, and then at 2976, I'm sorry, 2984, you would take the trick uh, trade and then uh, around 2977, let's say you get out when you see the custom RSI and of course the ticks are also moving higher. So that's about, uh, you know, a six to eight point move on the S&P. Fantastic trade on a five contract. That would be about uh, twelve hundred dollars. And then, as you see now, once again, the ticks come to the flat line, but they don't do anything. Now, even though the custom RSI might be in the bullish, but what we want to follow primarily is the ticks. And, and so there is no trade here until it gets past the zero line. And once we get into this level, that's when, you know, things are persistent again. And so here, let's say 29.90 all the way to, let's say 29.98. That's another eight points. So that's another $1,200 to $1,500 profit on a five contract position on the SPX. So those would be the two trades for today. So if you had the SPX uh, tick uh, indicator as well as the custom RSI, uh, those are the two trades that you would be doing. And just want to complete it by saying the more data that comes in, the better your trading opportunities are going to be. So with the tick SPX and the custom RSI, you want to wait for at least an hour of data to begin with. And then you look for some persistent conditions. So the trick is not to take a trade in the opening uh, half an hour to one hour. Let all the tick data come in. And that's when you start building a picture or you start creating a story for the day. Uh, in the, the morning session, it was clear that the S&P did not want to go up. However, in the afternoon session, it was pretty clear that it wanted to end higher. So those would have been the two trades, this one right here and this one right there. Thanks.